In spring of 2018, Shimano announced a complete overhaul of their super popular workhorse group set 105. And seeing as it's now cropping up all over 2019 bikes, both in the shops and on the internet, Shimano kindly sent us a full group set so we could talk you through its finer points. Oh, and uh, go for a ride. The top line points to note is that you've got 11 sprockets at the back and two up front, giving you 22 gears. The new group set has two brake options, disc brake and rim brake, and two finish options, silver or the black that we have here. You can choose from an array of super wide gear options, even down to a lowest gear of 3434. And the redesign improves the ergonomics, particularly for smaller riders or those with small hands are gonna be super excited because there is a smaller lever option as well. Now we've got hands on the R7020 version, which as you can see is the hydraulic disc brake one. R7000 is the rim brake version. Now this is officially the first time that disc brakes have popped up at 105 level, although there has been a disc option at a similar price point, just without the 105 logos on. But it's with good reason, because it's fair to say, I think, that Shimano don't take sticking a logo on something lightly. They're very particular about what they call group set integration and so they waited to design it all together from the ground up as they have done with its bigger brothers Ultegra and Durarace before it and I think it's a good thing that this one has come out third because as we all hoped some of the features from those more expensive group sets have now trickled down onto 105. Starting up here with the brakes. Now there is a reduced shifter body diameter there so that effectively means it feels a little bit smaller in your hands. I think that gives you a more secure grip on the bike, as well as actually reducing fatigue as well. Now, in order to fit all the hydraulics inside, Shimano have kind of extended the lever forwards and up a little bit more than they have on Durace, but it's been shaped quite ergonomically, so it kind of functions as an additional hand position. As well as the smaller diameter being great for people with smaller hands, there is also reach adjust on there. So you dial in a little screw and that actually brings the lever closer to your handlebar. I mean, essential for people with smaller hands. In addition to that, there is also, of course, the aforementioned alternative lever option. So it's called R7025 as opposed to R7020. Remember that, I'll be testing you on it later on. Uh, on it, the lever blade has actually been angled closer towards the handlebars, bringing it in by about four millimeters, Shimano say. So another real bonus for people with smaller hands. The disc rotors are available in 160 and 140 mil diameters. The smaller, again, perfect for smaller riders. Larger riders would want to go for 160s just because of reduced heat buildup on long descents. Although, as far as I'm aware, all those early fears about heat and brake fade haven't ever materialized with road disc brakes. These also, whilst we're thinking about heat, have got those finned ice tech pads that we've seen before on Ultegra and Durace. What they don't have is the large cooling fins on the rotors that Ultegra and Durace have, but they do still share that same triple layer with an aluminium core design. Now in use, well, what can be said about disc brakes that hasn't been said before? You get more power, of course, although that's kind of not the point. You get more modulation, which gives you more control. And as we're sort of getting towards winter, as you can see, their ability in poor conditions really makes them stand out. Certainly for me, the durability is a big one. Down at the caliper, you'll see its flat mount. And in terms of the rotors, we don't actually have the new 105 ones on these wheels. These are the older style Shimano disc rotors. Away from the brakes, there have been loads of other wholesale changes from the previous version of 105. The new rear mech has been designed using Shimano's shadow technology. This means that the derailleur has a much lower profile and is tucked underneath the rear cassette. It's actually the first opportunity for Shimano to design their 105 mech in the shadow style and it brings it in line with their Ultegra and Dura Race group sets as well. It means that it's better protected against knocks, you know the ones where you lean your bike up at a cafe only to see it falling over as you sit drinking your flat white uh, and it also apparently makes it a little bit easier to put the back wheel in and out. 
The derailleur comes in two cage length options, the longer of which will fit an 11 to 34 cassette, which we've got here. Now, moving forward to the front derailleur, that has been completely redesigned. It's now got that toggle cam design that we first saw on Dura Race. We've also seen now on Ultegra. Few different advantages to that. Firstly, it actually reduces the amount of force that you need to move the shift lever up at the handlebars there. Then you also get increased tire clearance, so great if you're running it on a gravel bike. And then finally, for the first time, there is a cable tension adjustment bolt, which means that you don't actually need a barrel adjuster somewhere else on your cable routing, which is great in my book because uh, often those barrel adjusters have, have always seized on my bikes. As well as the derailleur making the shift feel lighter at the handlebars, the actual internals of the shifters have also been changed. Shimano say that they've now reduced the lever throw. So what effectively what that means is that you don't have to move the levers as far to actuate a shift. Now, visually, perhaps, I think the crank set is the most important part of a group set. And in this case, the 105 clearly shares the same silhouette as its more expensive brothers, Durace and Ultegra. You've got that asymmetric four bolt pattern. Now, not just looks though with this redesign, it shed 30 grams. And although we can't really give any performance claims about it, Shimano don't make any about stiffness and so forth. Given that it does share so much DNA with Durace, you would expect it to be pretty beefy. Now, in use, it certainly feels like that, although it'd be impossible to give you any meaningful feedback given you can't really separate stiffness of frame from crank, from pedals, from tires, from, well, you get the picture. Now, interestingly, for about four of you, the pitch of the chain rings has also been changed, much like on Ultegra and Durace. And although that doesn't change the performance of the group set, what it does do is allow bike manufacturers to actually design their frames a little bit differently. You can have shorter chain stays, which you wouldn't want on every bike, but you would want on really nice, racy, snappy feeling bikes. Now, whilst we're sticking with chain rings, I did notice that the big ring here is really beefed up with loads of kind of supporting fins on the inside, because I guess a stiffer front chain ring is a good thing, particularly for crisp, smooth shifts. Now, lastly, the pedals on this bike are my eight-year-old Ultegra ones, but actually the new 105 pedals have changed quite significantly. They're 20 grams lighter. They've also got a lower stack height. So what that would mean is you could drop your saddle ever so slightly, putting your weight lower on the bike, which is excellent for fun cornering. Now, what about that all-important weight then? Well, we haven't put our particular group set on the scales, but apparently, all in, a 105 group set is 2,489 grams, which probably doesn't tell you a great deal. But if I put it into context and say that Ultegra is just 174 grams lighter, then you'll see that there isn't much of a difference there at all. And actually, when I say the old 105 and old Ultegra was separated by 370 grams, then you'll see that there's some pretty good news that the gap between the two is coming down. Now, in performance terms, it's pretty hard to compare this to Ultegra and Durace, but we are going to give it a try. We've got a video coming out shortly, which is 105 versus Durace. So stay tuned to that. There will be some blind testing going on. Oh, yes. I don't know quite how that's going to work, but there we go. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see and also get involved in the comments. What do you think about the new 105? Is everything that you wanted to see here on this group set? Let us know, we'll be very interested to read what you have to say. Uh, if you wanna see a video about the uh, Ultegra group set versus Dura Race that Lloydie made a couple of months back, then you can get through to that one by clicking on screen now.